Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that not even the germs that are currently assaulting my body can keep me from getting them presents out from underneath the great gift pile in the Steam holiday sale. So yes, you should hear I am a little bit under the weather. You may also hear some joyful squeals from my son as he plays down in his playroom, but just ignore those. Ignore them. We're going to do three holiday objectives today. That's right, three. It's going to be a quick one. We're just going to kind of rattle them off. And here they are. First of all, it's going to be Dungeons of Dreadmore. We will tackle Diggle Nog. Make some Diggle Nog. Who doesn't love a nice cold glass of Diggle Nog? Yes, indeed. Also, the seemingly impossible AI fleet command in the midst of a cold, dark winter. Lose at least 30,000 ships in a single game. I say seemingly impossible because I booted this game up and my brain exploded. Uh, this game looks pretty fun, but it also looks like it has a steep learning curve. Luckily, you will see here, thanks Light Haze, on the graphic you are looking at. We'll talk a little bit about that later and how he helped me to uh, cheat my way to In the Midst of a Dark Cold Winter. And last but not least, we have Guardians of Graxia, Gift of Efficacy. Cast the Gift of Efficacy spell on a friendly unit. That one was simple enough, and we will see that demonstrated for me. You will also see the booty that I have earned from each and every one of these achievements. So uh, we're going to keep this one kind of short, hopefully under 10 minutes. So we got to move if we're going to hit three holiday objectives in our time frame. So without any further ado, let's head over to Dungeons of Dreadmore and let's make some Diggle Nog. Dungeons of Dreadmore is a modern-day take on a classic roguelike adventure RPG. Uh, roguelikes, if you've never played them, they are uh, very difficult, hardcore, uh, permadeath, RPG adventures. Uh, usually they have procedurally generated dungeons uh, so that the experience is different every time. Uh, pretty much you get in there, you get the loot, you get the high score, survive as long as you can, that sort of thing. And uh, they had quite a following and still do. Uh, I uh, experienced some roguelikes back in the early 90s, but I wasn't quite hardcore enough for them, so I gave up on roguelikes after a few tries. But uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore has gotten a pretty good reception as far as I can tell amongst the roguelike community as a sort of a faithful update of the genre, so uh, let's get into Diggle Nog. We may talk about Dungeons of Dreadmore more in a future video, but we are talking about the Diggle Nog achievement right now, so let me give you my first tip here. Go ahead and uh, select Alchemist when you're selecting your skills, when you make a new character. I don't have any footage of this, unfortunately. I recorded all this footage previously, uh, but uh, select Alchemist as one of your skills. When you select Alchemist, you will get a Porta Still, and a Porta Still is required in order to actually make Diggle Nog, so that will give you a leg up. After that, you'll have to explore, and you'll have to find two items. You'll have to find a Diggle Egg, and you'll have to find some Grog. You will also need to find the, uh, the pieces of aqua vitae and craft that. Um, that can generally be crafted from a lot of different stuff you find, so as you're adventuring around to get the diggle egg and the grog, you should pick up the stuff to make the aqua vitae, so uh, don't worry too much about that. Once you have the materials, go to your porta still and just make the grog, or the grog, excuse me, <laughs> make the diggle nog. I said grog, I meant nog. Make the diggle nog and uh, you won't see the achievement flash on your screen. For some reason in Dungeons of Dreadmore, the achievements don't actually pop up with the Steam overlay. Uh, so uh, you have to exit out and uh, verify that you have the achievement. But if you craft Diggle Nog and you see it in your inventory, you do in fact have the achievement. So let's pop out to the Steam interface and let's see what we got. So as you can see, as we pop back out here, the Join the 2011 Holiday Group achievement is achieved. I got a lump of coal for that. So let's go ahead and scroll down and just confirm our Diggle Nog achievement. Yep, there it is. Objective complete. So let's head over to the Steam inventory and see what we got. Here we go. Come on, Steve, Steam inventory. Don't make me click you twice. I'll do it. There you go. Get a second. Yeah. All right, that's better. And we got another lump of coal. All right, well... Uh, Quite frankly, I'd rather have a lump of coal than 50% off a game I already own, so coal it is. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So here we are on our library tab, not yet in AI War Fleet Command, because we're going to cheat. 
Yes, guys, I'm not above cheating, so uh, right-click on AI War from your library and pick View Forums. Once you get over to the forums, let's head to the particular topic. Where is it? Here it is right here. Help with In the Midst of a Cold, Dark Winter. We are going to go to page number 11, and we're going to po find post number 159. 159 by a gentleman and scholar named Light Hayes. He provides a save file here, which uh, only has about 400 ships left to be destroyed, and he's already rallied everything in such a manner that all you got to do is sit back and let it happen. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Mr. Light Hayes. Let's see how this looks in the game, shall we? Here we are on the main menu screen of AI War Fleet Command. We have the save game secured in our saved game folder. Dig down into your Steam directory and you should be able to find that for yourself. So uh, now that we have the saved game, we do need to make one change to our game here. We need to change our profile name to Kai. That is Kai K-A-I. That is detailed for you in the post that we looked at on the Steam forums. So do that and then load your saved game achievement. Vanilla Holiday. Load. And as this loads, prepare to have your mind blown much as mine was blown the first time I loaded up this game because I have no ability to understand what the hell all of that is. Wow. There's some space stationy things. A lot of stuff with poor efficiency. I got a bunch of achievements just as I came in, just because of the of the progress level of this game. But uh, again, can't thank Light Hayes enough for his contribution here, giving this to the community. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, I'm gonna poke around the uh, menu here. Just I'm, I'm looking for a tab which I know to exist, uh, which tells you how many ships that you've lost. Let's see if we can find that economy. Uh, bunch of crap here. Oh, here we go. Ships by player. There it is. Okay, so if we scroll down, we should be able to find... We got built, killed, lost. There we go. Okay, we're losing a bunch of standard fighters. So uh, that's going to progress here over the next minute or two. And uh, we will come back and we will take a look at that in just a minute. So uh, we're going to do a, a nice little fade here. And uh, that number is going to get bigger. Alright, and here we go. We should be closing in on the achievement now as the number ticks up further and further. Continue to watch the lower right hand. There it is. Alright, we got the achievement. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll give that a little mouse massage there. And that is all there is to it. So uh, if you want to cheat like I did, you can get this achievement really, really easy. Just make sure to check the Steam forums like I detailed for you earlier. So thanks again to Light Haze, who uh, created this particular save game. And uh, we're going to head out to the interface as I attempt to thank Light Hayes here, but I forget what his name was. Mm, inconvenient. <laughs> we're going to head out to the Steam interface and we are going to see what we got. So here we are back out on the Steam page. Let's check it out. There it is. AI War Fleet Command in the midst of a cold, dark winter. So let's uh, scroll back up, just confirm everything. And yes, we are on six objectives complete. So let's head over to that Steam inventory and let's see what we have. And it is 50% off of Global Ops Commando Libya. Global Ops Commando. I have never heard of that. Well, let's see what it is. Let's click on View Applicable Games. There it is. Normally thirty dollars on sale right now for seven fifty. All right, Global Ops. What could this be? Hmm. Looks like maybe a third-person shooter from the clips down there. Well, powered by Unreal. That's always a good thing. Anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and watch this trailer for Global Ops Commando Libibia, and we will see uh, exactly what I have stumbled into here. And uh, why don't you guys go ahead and... Oh, my Lord, there's something about a nuclear bomb. Libyan terrorists. 
This game is very topical, although I think it said it was set in the 60s, so yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on. We do have one uh, achievement left to do, one objective left to complete, so we are going to go into uh, Guardians of Graxia, a game I did not own before uh, just a few hours ago, and we're going to check that out. We're going to grab that super easy achievement, so uh, let's do it. So here we are, Guardians of Graxia. Graxia, that's not, that seems like the pronunciation. What do you guys think? All right, let's get into a game. This is a sort of a strategy turn-based kind of card game thing. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to attempt to explain too much about how the game plays because, frankly, I don't fully understand at this point myself. Uh, the first thing I know you have to do is select your hero and put him into play, which I just did. At that point, you will be uh, given several minion cards, army cards, uh, unit cards... Uh, if you look up in the upper uh, left-hand corner, you can see Cheap Dave, my name there, with some uh, mana, or mana, if you prefer. And uh, as I'm going to cast each of these spells, it's going to take away a certain amount, and uh, I'm going to just cast these units onto the field. Uh, what I was uh, told, or what I read about this achievement, is that you just basically have to get through the first round of casting here, cast out some minions, uh, end up your turn, uh, it tells me that I have some more mana left, so I decide to cast one more minion here. And uh, then I get a draw, my initial card draw, and you will see that I got Gift of Efficacy in my initial draw, and I am mouse-saging it right there vigorously, vigorously. So uh, I have to wait for my enemy to take his turn, and as soon as he finishes with his turn, I will get my opportunity to cast Gift of efficacy on one of my units and therefore grab the achievement. I believe they say that uh, the waiting is the hardest part and indeed I'm finding that to be true. So here we go, it is my turn and there ain't nothing to it but to do it. All we have to do is cast gift of efficacy on this blood crusader and there is the achievement as I masturbated vigorously. Yes. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, that is all. That's all it takes. Uh, pretty simple one. If you have this game or if you decide to purchase this game, uh, the game looks very promising. Um, it's got mixed reviews, but uh, I'm willing to give it a chance. I do like collectible card games very, very much, and this one seems to have a different fold to it with the actual placement of units on the field. So we'll see how it goes uh, in the future, and I will probably do a video about this game. So uh, let's see what I got, guys. I'm super excited. Here we go, back out to the Steam page. There it is, Guardians of Graxia, Gift of Efficacy, achieved. So uh, that is that. Let's go up here and uh, just confirm we should have seven. Yes, there it is, seven objectives completed so far by me. So let's head over to that Steam inventory and let's see what we have. And it is another lump of coal. Uh, well, that's a bit of an anti-climax, but at this point, honestly, I would, uh, wouldn't mind more lumps of coal. So, uh, it is a lump of coal, and that's just fine by me. All right, guys, this is going to be the last time you probably see me this week. I may squeeze out one more of these videos, but you will not see a roundup this weekend, uh, just because it's freaking Christmas, man, and uh, you guys should enjoy time with your friends or family as I plan to do. So I will probably see you guys early next week with another video. Enjoy the Steam sale while it is on. Get those objectives. Grab those gifts from the great gift pile. Get your free stuff. Get your coal. Get entered for a chance to win every game on Steam. And just have a happy holiday. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.